Joanne Fabrics was having a sale on Simplicity Patterns. I decided to stop by to pick up a couple patterns to help me begin my next sewing project. So let me show you the patterns that I picked up. So I recently made this pattern here and I made this view out of this fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I love this fabric. It's a knit. Kind of looks like corduroy a little bit. I love the color. And I had over a yard left over. So I decided I wanted to make like a top or either a dress to go under the duster. Is what I'm calling it. So I ended up picking up this pattern when I was at Joanne Fabrics because I really like this view here with the sleeves and I also like the shorter view also. So I'm not exactly sure which pattern I want to make between this one or this new look pattern and I only picked up two patterns. So I also like this because of the drapey neck. I thought that that would look cute under a duster. This is New Look 6577. And this one, oh, let me open it and look at the pattern number. Simplicity 9451. So I think I'm really leaning more strongly toward this one that the model is wearing. And I'm not sure if I have enough fabric for the sleeves. Actually, let me look because I think I have a yard and a quarter. And let's see what this calls for. Oh, a yard and a half. So, I may not have enough to do the sleeves. So, it may just be view B. But I will keep you posted. The top is coming along pretty well. I decided to go with the simplicity top the 94.51 over the new look top and it has gathers at the shoulder so I just finished putting the gathers in there and then I showed, showed I sewed the shoulder seam on the other side and now I am getting ready to put in the gathers that go along the side of the top so when I was cutting out the back pieces for this top, I realized, thank goodness, that I had actually cut the back pieces out in the wrong direction. So the stretch was going up and down instead of side to side. Someone's at the door delivering a package. So yeah, the stretch was going across. So I was like, oh man, I had to recut the back pieces. I was glad I had enough fabric to do that, but because of that, I didn't have enough for the sleeves because I was going to try to see if I can maybe squeeze some sleeves out, but yeah, I couldn't do it. But I had enough for one sleeve, I just didn't have enough for two sleeves. So, in an effort to be creative, I decided that I'm going to make this top. I'm going to make view B, which is the sleeveless top, but I'm going to make it with one sleeve. So that should be interesting. And because the top is sleeveless, the one side that doesn't have the sleeve will be finished according to the way the directions state. And then the other side will just, you know, have a sleeve according to view a or view C. So I hope this looks cute. We shall see. So this is where I am so far. I have the back sewn up. And it has the little loop in the back. Where is it? Okay, here. The little loop there. And then here 
are the gathers on the one side. Let's see what side. Okay, it's going to be on the left side. And then the collar is on. And what else? The gathers at the shoulder. So I think this is going to be really cute. And then I'm going to have my one sleeve. <laughs> okay, I'm all done. Are you ready? Here is the finished product. I really like it. I keep playing with the gathers or the front just to see how I want it to lay. And it, it seems a little big on this side. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's just because I left the sleeve off. I'm not sure. But I like the top. The back, I was able to find a gold button. And so I put a gold button up here in the back. I think I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy with this top. One sleeve and all. Let me untuck it. Okay. And this is how it looks untucked. And I didn't finish the hem on the sleeve. I just left it as is. So this was the actual full length of the sleeve. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to wear my top, but I am happy with the way that it turned out. I really do like it. And the sleeveless side of the top is finished with a single fold bias tape. I thought that was pretty cool that I happened to have a gold button that worked. And I think it's the only one that I have, so that worked out fine. Now speaking of gold, before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. Pittsburgh is the only city in which all of the major professional sports teams share the same primary colors of black and gold.